Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today it is December 7th of 2016 and December 7th is the anniversary of Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor that brought the United States into World War II. I was born in March of 1941 and the attack on Pearl Harbor was December of 1941. If you're a Republican, then your thinking is that I am the reason that World War II began. Because Republicans believe that because communism in the USSR came to an end when Ronald Reagan was president, therefore he was responsible, which he wasn't. If any one president was responsible, and of course it wasn't one president who was responsible, it was all of the presidents, all of the congresses, and the American people that uh, consistently with every administration uh, resisted communism and did whatever was necessary. But if you were to give one president credit, or if you were to divide it up, I mean, I just give them all credit equally, all the presidents. But if you were to divide it up into, then I say, Harry Truman, which is kind of funny because he was, uh, we were allies during World War II with the USSR. But if you were to give one president credit based on, it would be Harry Truman. He had the Truman Plan, the Marshall Plan, uh, what? Oh, and then when uh, North Korea invaded South Korea, he immediately sent U.S. troops. So, I mean, but, so, I'm not responsible to the Republicans out there. I am not re the reason that the United States went into World War II. They went in because of Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor. And... You can look it up on Wikipedia. It does not mention my name. I noticed here this headline. This is the day. This is. I can't read it. This is either. Must be December 7th. It says Roosevelt will address Congress today. Anyway, it says Japan declares war on the U.S. They actually didn't declare war on the United States. They attacked us without declaring war. Uh, an interesting history. I'm sure you've probably seen the Torah, what? Not Torah, Torah, Torah. Anyway. Let's see if I can. Oh, Wikipedia. Yeah. Casualties. Um, at the when Pearl Harbor was attacked, we had four battleships sunk, four battleships damaged, two other ships sunk, four cruisers damaged, three destroyers damaged, three other ships damaged, 188 aircraft destroyed, 159 aircraft damaged. 2,403 and we had 1,178 wounded. Japan lost four midget submarines sunk. One midget submarine grounded. 29 aircraft destroyed. 64 killed and a sailor captured. What in the hell? Did he fall off the ship or something? Um, I went to high school with a kid and his father was in the Marine Corps. No, his stepfather. His stepfather had been in the United States Marine Corps and he was in the Marine Corps uh, back in 1941 before the war broke out. He was on the USS Ward a destroyer, I believe, or a cruiser. And he was uh, 
the, the captain of the ward. So the crew spotted what, what appeared to be a submarine. And so, um, but it was a midget submarine. Um, and it was attempting to get into Pearl Harbor through the nets or whatever they have to prevent something like that in that area. And uh, Fred Breyer, this friend of mine that I went to uh, grade school with and high school with, uh, so the ward went to you know battle stations or whatever, and then they saw this submarine, and uh, we weren't at war yet, but uh, we were going to be in, a, in an hour or two, a few hours, and. Uh, So the ward attacked the submarine, and uh, my friend, his stepfather, was on the gun mount. Marine Corps was manning the gun, the deck gun or whatever, and he was on the gun mount that fired and hit that submarine and turned up, turned in, you know, it, su it sunk it. Interesting, small world. So. Uh, like I said, I'm 75 years old, so I was about, about 10 months old or something. So I don't remember anything about uh, Pearl Harbor or the beginning of World War II. My father had seven brothers and three sisters. All of my father's brothers went into military service. I know one was in the Marine, uh, Vince was in the Marine Corps. And uh, one was in the Navy. Uh, several were in the I don't you know, but uh, my father was the only one that didn't. He went out to California and, and uh, worked building Liberty ships. And then my mother and I joined my father out there later, and she worked in the shipyard, Kaiser Shipyard. Uh, in San Francisco uh, building Liberty ships and I remember a little bit about that time I didn't know we were at war or anything I probably didn't know what my parents did I remember a little earthquake uh, I remember we lived in an apartment, I guess, and I could hear somebody walking upstairs, and I could hear the song. I'm not sure if it was playing downstairs, probably downstairs on a radio. Uh, I'm walking the floor over you, and somehow I associated, I thought that had something, you know, something to do with that person up there that was walking. Um, remember a few other little tiny things, but nothing having to do with I went through my picture uh, one time, my mother's pictures, when my mother was alive. Uh, she, at the last, she had Alzheimer's, but she was always saying I'd go over to her place and and uh, she'd say, "Let me show you my show you our family pictures and tell you and whatever." Ah, later, later, later. I never did it, and now now I wish I had because I'd like to know who are some of those people and and the stories behind. But I went through uh, some of the pictures and there was a picture of me being about four years old or something in California and it had a date that it was taken and I ran that date and that was turns out was a day that Hitler killed himself, committed suicide. So anyway December 7th, 1941. Oh. I'm, this is a, I'm in my office, my grandson's ex-bedroom. And you may notice a little difference with the video. Maybe not. This is the C930E, the camera that I did have the C920 running in here. I just disconnected it. I went in the other room and brought my C930 
E and hooked it up here because, so you may notice a little difference here, maybe not, uh, orders, because today Orders, where are you? Today I'm getting this, a new Logitech. I'm, it might have been out a, a little while, but this is, so I'm, I'm getting today the Logitech C922X Pro. <clears throat> and that will go in the other room. These things look identical. The C920, the C9... Uh, or C930E, I think, and this C922X Pro, they all look absolutely identical. Um, so we'll see how this, this is supposed to be a little improvement. Um, and I'll be getting it today and hooking it up to the other camera. And it says here, webcam speed specifically designed and optimized for professional quality video streaming and social gaming and entertainment sites such as Twitch and YouTube. Stream and record vibrant true to life HD 1080p video at 30 frames a second or 720p at 60 frames a second. And then it does a few other things which I'll show you when I get it today. I'll be making a video, I'm sure, later today. So, thank you very much for, uh, for watching.